Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. iOS 17 Beta 6 just came out to everyone on the beta, and with it I have found over 30 new changes and features that I'd like to share with you all right now. Anyways, let's waste no time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. In iOS 17 Beta 6 when opening up photos I was greeted with the splash screen. Now when muting and unmuting your iPhone there is no longer haptic feedback that plays. I believe this is a bug and will probably return in the next beta, but for now it is a change in beta 6. The next change is in the control center and the now playing toggle. The text now it's vertically aligned. Previously it was aligned to the left and the buttons now sit quite a bit lower than they did before. A lot more like iOS 16 which is a change I'm not a fan of. I think this version looked a lot better and I hope that it returns in a future beta. In iOS 17 beta 6 the end call button has been moved back to the center. Now the keypad sits to the bottom right. And Apple has finally brought the iOS 17 wallpapers to light and dark mode options in the display and brightness settings. This looks so much better than it did before, where previously it just showed the iOS 15 wallpapers since iOS 16 never had a dark mode variant. And now, as well in display and zoom, you can see that we now have an updated lock screen and home screen wallpaper that matches the iOS 17 one. Previously, it was the iOS 16 wallpaper and on the lock screen, an iOS 15 and earlier notification style. Now it has all been updated. In iOS 17 beta 6, view credits no longer shows the song name. And now when haptic touching on a song, the actual pop-up menu here has been reverted to the old one from iOS 16, where now when you tap into it, it just goes straight to the album. Previously, it went to the credits. And when haptic touching on a song, view credits has been added to the drop-down menu. In the photo settings, there is now an option for about photos and privacy. Previously, this did not exist. And Apple has reduced the amount of screen distance information text here. It now says to reduce eye strain and the risk of myopia in children, screen distance will alert you to hold an iPhone or iPad with Face ID at a recommended distance. Previously, it said to help reduce eye strain and the risk of myopia in children, screen distance will alert you when you hold an iPhone or iPad with Face ID too close for an extended period of time. And in the communication safety menu, it now says sensitive photos and videos. Previously, it was just titled sensitive photos in messages. Apple has once again updated the state of mind icons here. You can see previously they were a little bit darker, a little bit harder to tell the texture. Now they are brighter and easier to see lines and other textures. Now, by the way, iOS 17 beta 6 is on the right and iOS 17 beta 5 is on the left. And with respect to the updated icons, the actual image for login emotion or mood has been updated to reflect these changes. And of course, Apple has once again updated the actual color palette for the choose how you're feeling right now menu pages. You can see here how the purple is definitely more refined purple. It's especially noticeable with the very pleasant color here because it's much more of an orange previously. It was more like a salmon kind of orange. There, they've also added a white shadow behind each of these icons here. So it looks a lot more, a lot nicer. Definitely a slight gradient. Previously, it was just the color all throughout. And the last change here is that the actual icons have been updated as well to reflect the newer icons, but these have a little bit more depth to them, a little bit more shadow, and a little bit more reflection. Look a lot nicer in my opinion. And in beta 6, there are now more feeling options here. So we go to show more. You can see that we have some new options like annoyed, we have confident, we have drained, hopeful, indifferent, overwhelmed, and satisfied. All brand new to beta 6 and not previously available. So not particularly new to beta 6, but in beta 5 there was a new private browsing splash screen that I was not greeted with on my 14 Pro Max after updating, but after updating my 13 Pro Max I received. So this is what it looks like, just detailing the new private browsing. And now in beta 6, when pressing and holding on the plus menu icon here, it actually brings up the photo picker. Previously doing this would do nothing. In the messages settings under iMessage apps, there is now a title for apps only available in messages. As you can see here, it says only in messages. Previously, there was no title. And now apps with iMessage apps is now labeled as included with an app. And instead of pressing a red minus button here and deleting an app, you now have the ability to just toggle it on or off in messages with a switch. And the last change on this page is the removal of a lot of text on the bottom here. Previously, it said apps that include iMessage apps will appear here. Deleting an app will delete it from the home screen and from messages. Now it just says delete the, delete the app from the home screen to also delete the iMessage app. 
And in the build your own plan section of Apple Fitness Plus, the actual activity types toggles are a lot smaller, so you can fit all of them in a much smaller amount of space. Previously, they were unnecessarily wide and just took up way more vertical space than they needed to. And now I'm not sure if this one is a bug or not, but on beta 6, the create a stack button has been completely removed for me. Previously on beta 5, it sat up in the top right corner and it would just bring up this menu, but now it just seems to be completely gone. And now in creating a new contact, tapping add photo will bring you to the poster editor. Previously, it would bring you to a profile picture editor. And now when editing a contact poster, the remind me and message buttons now have a little circle around them to better discern them from the background. Previously, they didn't. Oh boy, Apple cannot make up their minds with the weather and astronomy wallpaper thumbnail images. Now Earth is fully daytime. Previously, it was mostly nighttime, but a little bit of day in the upper corner there. And the Mars thumbnail has also been changed again. And the the Jupiter wallpaper has also been slightly updated there. You can see they're just a little bit different. And when creating a new lock screen, when zooming out of the photo, there is now a brief wallpaper extended text, as you can see there right before pinch to crop. That is new to beta six. And last, but definitely not least, in mail for companies, digitally certified is now verified logo. All right, everyone, that is all I have for iOS 17 beta six. Now, of course, if you did enjoy this video, show me by leaving a like below. And if you haven't already, definitely make sure that subscribe button with notifications enabled. We are so close to 6,000 subscribers. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.